I took an edible. Ain't no telling where this is to go. Cause we're gonna be at the pinnacle. Alright. What up, y'all? My bad. I'm late. Let me I just get in here. No formalities. I'm sorry. Brick. My bad, bro. I was trying to be on by eight. Then I'm start cleaning. I start talking. Next thing you know. Oh, can you do me a favor? It's some dish. Uh, I put the uh, bunch of towels in the washing machine. Can you just put them in the dryer for me? Oh, thanks, bro. Um, hi, everybody. Praise the Lord. All right. You know what time it is. It's time. It's time to get funky. Mm -hmm. Cocktail shaker time. Okay, so we'll start with a cocktail. Let's start. Now they say watch live. Darius Cooks, let's cook. How I get my own notification on YouTube? YouTube, oh, what is that about? Here I come, y'all. Let me get some ice. I got me a little extra ice, ice to baby, because I do want to put a little ice in the actual cocktail itself. Thank you very much. Cocktail shaker. Now, I, I know, first of all, hold on. I know in the Darius Cooks Plus group, I gave you a different menu for a different drink for tonight, okay? I realized I didn't have any um, St. Germain and stuff, so I'm switching tonight's drink. But it's my life, and I can do that, okay? So uh, this is um, white peach. This is a good one, though. It's very summery. I just made this up in my head. So let's see how well this works in real life, okay? Okay, this is white peach syrup. Fresh squeeze lemon juice. It don't matter who squirrels it. Okay. Orange bitters or any bitter of your choice. Okay. And then I'm going to add Jameson. So a white peach Jameson old-fashioned. Huh? Huh? Okay. White peach Jameson. Old fat. I don't know. I don't know. Hold on. All right. White peach Jameson. fashion just a touch okay but watch this I got one better for you you ready for this Sparkling white peach Jameson old fashioned. Huh? Okay. I'll do not play with me. It's a sparkling sparkling. Ooh, that's a that's a stiff one there, boy. That's what he said. <laughs> All right, Crystal. It's a it's a it's stiff. All right. 
Huh? I said, you can take it out. Oh, I, we can take it there. Still. Mm. Uh -huh. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. It goes down strong and finishes mm -hmm. smooth. Mm -hmm. yes, At this time, we are asking all visitors to please stand. Or this is your first second, or perhaps your third time joining us. We'd like to take a moment to say, first of all, thank you for joining us. Second of all, we'd like to say welcome. We do believe that it is by God's divine providence that you are here with us this evening, and we are so happy that you have chosen this service to join this evening. Now, at this time, we do have impact agents who are coming from the rear of the sanctuary. They're going to hand you an information card. We do ask that you fill that information card out. And then when we go around for offering, you can drop your information card in the offering basket so that we may stay in contact with you. Now, we would also like you to come to the East Vestibule after service. That way you can claim your free gift. Do not go to the West Vestibule. As an attempt to become a more inclusive body of Christ, we have decided to partner with the local art school. They are looking for any individuals with a large derriere. That way, they are able to practice their abstract painting. Yes, so if you or anybody you know uh, they say it's called a badonk, a donk. Would love to sign up. Please go to the West Vestibule after service. You may be, oh, before you be, we like to welcome you this evening. Let the foodie in me, love the foodie in you. Let the foodie in me, love the foodie in you, cause you're easy. You're easy. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You're easy. Ba, 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 ba. Easy to love. Why Crystal just sit down? You may be seated. <laughs> this helper, she gonna go. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Honey, go sign up at the West Vestibule after service. They need you. Anything for the progression of the body of Christ. Huh? Let me preheat my oven. About 375. Papa. Oh, push start. <laughs> That's important. Uh, what is that? Important. I may, I'm going to admit to you, I was having one hell of a day. Sunday, I had my entire week planned out. Six shoots, all right, full of content. Three live streams, two real shoot, and one shoot for the Darius Cooks Plus app. Tonight... I accomplished all six shoots. Monday and Tuesday went well. Today was a whatever happens, happens day, all right? So I was kind of going through a little bit on the phone with my best friend for over an hour, talking to him, just about stuff we talk about. And I said, I just need an edible. I'm on edge. And I said, I don't have any in my book bag. I went to put away my external hard drive. I think the song says, there is a bomb in Gilead. There was a ram in the bush. Huh? I said, I, he raised up the ax.
to kill his son. And from around the way, I, 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 not so fast. So if I seem a little different, this is what Instagram gets every night. Okay. But it was only 30, so I'm like more of a 50 to 60 milligram kind of guy typically, so I should be all right. I hope. I want to get a bowl up out of here. That's what I want to do. Can we start with that, Jesus? I'm having the hardest time. I can't even cook yet. Okay. Let me grab um, some cheese out the fridge of there, okay? And the cheese I'm gonna grab is the cheese I got, all right? <laughs> I know what that recipe say, but the cheese I have is what the cheese I got. It's good, ain't it? It kind of gets to you a little bit, don't it? That's the that's the uh, old fashioned. I should have put a little cherry, a little marish, a little not maraschino. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to make another one. So we'll see how it tastes with the cherry juice on the next one. Yes. All right. This is whatever cheese that was in the refrigerator. I think it's mozzarella. Huh? Mozzarella. But it could be whatever you want it to be. Cheddar, Gouda. You know, I love Gouda. No shade. Y'all be like, at Donald with Darius Cooks, they be like, what cheese did you put in this mac and cheese? And I be hearing them, right? They be trying to decide. They be like, I bet it's cheddar. I taste smoked Gouda. I think he put brie. And then they'll catch me. Hey, Darius, we have a question. What kind of cheese did you put in the mac and cheese? You know what I tell them? Child, whatever cheese is on sale, that's the cheese I put in the mac and cheese. Whatever cheese is on sale. I don't have no, listen. Because see, it really ain't the cheese that make it. It's how you season it, huh? Ain't that what Little Richard said? He said, see this? This what you call doing your own thing, huh? Oh, yes, I put it on. This what you call putting it on. Please go watch Little Richard interview on YouTube. He said, oh, I put it on, huh? You know how you butter your toast? Oh, I put it on. He said, you know what? You tell Chuck Berry, I'm going to fix him when I see him. I'm going to fix Chuck. He said, and Mick Jagger used to play guitar for me. You have to please... I beg you, go to YouTube and please watch Little Richard. He said, I'm the I'm the, the middle child of 12 kids. And I I look the best. And I'm not conceited. <laughs> he said, Yeah, you're supposed to, you're supposed to wear makeup. You know, you know, it's just a little accent, you know. Make it look a little better. You know how you butter your toes? Little Richard. He sure found God later on in life, ain't he? Next thing I look up, Blair Richard is, take me to the wall. I said, God, dog, Blair Richard. <laughs> no, he left. He gone, baby. Blair Richard is gone, huh? He in that big old uh, rock and roll hall in the sky. He went on to be with the Lord. I don't know with the Lord. I don't know who he would be with. But... <laughs> Flower. All purpose or self rising or whatever you got. All right. Little tincture, sugar. Okay. Little pinch of this and a little pinch of that. Oh no, if you like it like that. Little tincture, bacon powder. Little tincture of that. Little tainture salt, 
kosher. All right, let's get in here and give this a mix with a spoon. Mixy, mixy, mixy. To the Dixie, Dixie, Dixie. All right. Now we're going to need a few things. Starting with some butter. And some butter milk from the farmer's market that if you don't use in two days, it's going to go bad. I said, did y'all milk these cows last month? Jesus. No preservatives in nothing. Put you some gloves on. Cause the way I be looking at y'all Instagram pictures when y'all be tagging me and stuff and the way some of y'all nails be looking, please put you some gloves on. I don't want, we don't need everything you had last week in these biscuits, okay? Put you, <laughs> put you on some gloves, shit. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is butter. Hi, butter. I'm gonna break it out a little bit and a little few pieces. Oh, and a little few pieces. Like that, like that, like that, and like that. But that don't like, it's enough butter for me. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more um, butter to the thing. Okay, a little bit more butter to the thing like this. Just so you don't need that much. Just a little butter, because too much butter would be too buttery. Like that, all right? So we're gonna get in here and we're going to mix together. We're gonna make sure everybody's having a good time. You want one mixture. So what I'm doing is I'm rolling the dough in between <laughs> my fingers. You know why I'm laughing? I'm laughing because I'm making biscuits on live stream. And apparently the last time another social media influencer made biscuits on live stream, they said, y'all said them wasn't biscuits, okay? Y'all said them wasn't biscuits. And then y'all had me go watch the video. This is Instagram. Let me, if you're watching me on any other platform but Instagram, let me show you how shady my Instagram family is, right? <laughs> they, says, <laughs> they inbox me the link, right? I goes over there while I'm live or with them, and I watches the damn video while I'm live with them. And as I'm watching it, I'm like, oh, no, wait. That's, you need more. No, you put too much. Oh my God, what did you just do? I said, they are so messy. It don't make no sense, okay? The cheese that we grated, put all it up in there too, okay? This is that mozzarella. I don't know what this is. It could be mozzarella, it could be white cheddar. I don't know what the hell this is. It was some cheese with no label in the refrigerator that like it was some good. So I grated it and put it up in here. The heater kill it. No, <laughs> no. It's mold anyway. Okay, make sure that's evenly distributed. Then we're gonna go in with some buttermilk. Not a lot. Okay, you can always add to it. But one thing you can't do is take this thing up out of here. So please, okay, I want you to be careful with the buttermilk. Now, there is a way to fix it. If you put too much buttermilk in, when you need it, like I'm going to do in a second, you just add, incorporate more flour. So the technique I use is actually a very similar technique to that. And my technique is I actually want a little bit of a stickier dough inside, right? Because then when I turn it out on, onto my floured surface, what will end up happening is that I could knead in as much flour as I want to knead in. You know what I'm saying? So that's my little tidbit for you. 
you know, if I can help somebody <laughs> along the way, then my living will not be in vain. Okay? All I got to do is help somebody along the way. All right. If you live right. All right. Let's get to work on these here biscuits. Um, cheddar. Oh, they're supposed to be cheddar scallion, ain't they? Hold on. These are cheddar scallion biscuits. How they cheddar scallion biscuits with not an ounce of scallion in here? Darius. <laughs> that what the old folks call me in church. Darius. I remember Mother Robinson, Trinetta Robinson. I actually write about her in my cookbook stories from my grandmother's kitchen. I write about her because Miss Robinson used to be the cook at the school down at Mars Hill where I used to go. And that thing had a cheese toast anointing on her. Okay? Cheese toast anointing. Every time Miss Robinson see me, she said, when you get married, when you gonna get married? It was another uh, young lady I grew up with in church. Her name was Trisha. One of my really dear friends, Trisha Shaw. And uh, Miss Robinson swore up and down. The Lord told her me and Trisha was gonna be married. Miss <coughs> Robinson, I don't know what Lord told you that. But you gone now, so I'm sure he cleared it all up as soon as you got up there, huh? Any misconceptions got cleared up once you made it. I got to get myself together. Because I got somewhere to go. And I'm praying when I get there. Whoa. I see everyone I know. What I want to do. I want to go heaven. I want to go. Don't you want to go? Okay. I do not own the rights to that music. Mary Mary. I don't think they do either. Quiet as it's kept. But you ain't heard that from me. All right. Okay. Now this is where I'm going to like feel my way through. Okay. And do not act like you do not know how to feel your way through. Because I can give you a couple of scenarios. Okay? And then like, it, so I'm filling my dough. If it's a little too wet, then this is the time as I need to incorporate flour until I get to a beautiful, perfect sort of consistency, right? I want them stiff, but I want them moist. You want to see what it looks like? Uh -huh. Like I want them stiff, but I want them moist, yeah. all right? Mm -hmm. So this is looking like something I like. All right, so now I'm just going to beat my dough, pat it down, and get it to my desired heights, mm -hmm. see? And then I'm gonna get it into, Jesus, mm -hmm. somewhere about, about, about three quarters of an inch thick. And you know what an inch is. Okay. All right. Oh, I guess I'm going to use a Darius Cook's everyday skillet. Well. Might as well since we're here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, if I'm going to use my skillet, let me butter my bottom of my skillet then. I was going to use a, um, oh, it's right there. That pan I was gonna use right there, but I think a skillet will work a little better for these biscuits. Come on, Darius Cooks Everyday Skillet. Okay. You can get one today by going to shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code cilantro at checkout to save 40% right now while we're live. All right, the, the website again is shop 
DariusCooks.com. This everyday skillet can be yours right to your front door. Just use the code cilantro at checkout to save how much? 40%. Ow. I'll do this glass. Okay. I'm going to use this glass. I need some place to put this right here. No, I'm going to drop it right there. It's going to have to go right here. Okay. Use this glass. And I'm going to stamp out me a biscuit. See, look at this here. I'ma pat off any excess flour, huh? And I'ma put him or her right there. Cause there's no discrimination in the nation. We're not doing it, okay? See, that's a biscuit. I know what that other stuff was. Y'all made me look at on Instagram, but that you know that wasn't no biscuit. I didn't look at it. And that thing had to know to use a heart shape. You seen it. I know. Yeah, you, I know you seen it. See you it. told me we was on the road. You told me you said, <laughs> we was at Cracker Barrel. You shut to be at Cracker Barrel. You lied. <laughs> you know you lied. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. She, she, you know you lied. You shut to be at Cracker Barrel. Lying, Alpha. Oh, shit. Okay. I still would have tasted one, though. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I would have. I would have <laughs> it wasn't really my preference, but let me see. I would have. I would let me see what it. Let me give me a little jam, <laughs> y'all. I'm not gonna lie to you. I make the best biscuits. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna beat myself up too much because these might come out and be a fool. But I'm just letting you know. I mean, the, the Lord gave me a biscuit anointing. Okay, mm -hmm. when I I don't know what I did. To, I don't know what ideas I deserve. I don't know, but I ain't have a biscuit anointing. The anointing makes the biscuit. In. Uh, Auntie Sherry. Okay. All right, I got excess dough. I'm just gonna throw it away because <laughs> Crystal got bypass. I got bypass. We oh, we have to bypass these biscuits, okay? All right. The biscuits. Into a 375 degree oven. And do not get on my nerves talking about some check the biscuits. Check. Do not do that. Or you get blocked. <laughs> I'm going to go back and watch the comments and I'm going to block you. Okay, do not do that. Check the biscuits, check the biscuits. The ones I put in 45 seconds ago. Oh, I'm sorry. I just told them. Shut up. You know I love y'all. We have the best time. You know, and not for nothing. I don't think nobody do a good cooking live stream like me. It's a couple of them out there that's kind of okay, but they don't they don't give it to you good. They don't. Let's see what you call see what you call doing your own thing. See, you know how you butter your toast. Yeah, you supposed to put it on. That fool said, "You tell Chuck. I'm when you see Chuck, you tell Chuck I'm gonna fix him." <laughs> I didn't know Chuck was broken, Richard. Let me heat up this deep fryer. I had an idea. What? To fry something. <laughs> you have an idea to fry something? Yes. All right, y'all. Let's get to the main part. <laughs> Let's get to what we came for. And that's the, the meat of the matter. I just want you to understand just how ginormous this is. Oh, wow. This is my hand. This 
is the lobster tail. Okay? I want you to understand that in order for me to recoup the cost of all this, you need to go to shop there and his <laughs> Go buy something. I, we, we won't scam you this time. That's my new tagline. ShopDariusCooks.com, where we don't scam you the first time. Okay, but no, for real. Super, super, super gigantic, right? So these are here. These are ginormous lobster tails. And I want to grab... the meat out of one of them. I told you not to go in my room and you did it anyway. Rita. <laughs> Rita, I'm in here, mama. What is that? What is what? It was just some music Sister Mary Clarence gave us. What did I tell you? But mama, I could say. What did I tell you? But mama, I don't but mama me. Your daddy could sing. And look where it got him. Somewhere on the corner singing his shoulda, woulda, couldas. Now, the choir and the competition is out. But mama, the choir and the competition is out. My dip. Ooh. My Darius Cooks. My Darius Cooks emerald and gold Dutch oven. This beauty could be yours today. You could go to shopdariuscooks.com. Use the discount code cilantro at checkout and save 40%. This could be yours. Shopdariuscooks.com, where we don't scare you the first time. <laughs> okay. We don't scare you the first time. Over this second and third. <laughs> okay, I'm putting some water in here. I'm going to show you a little tricky, tricky trick. get this going, okay? And then, I wanna grab one thing. This is the lobster beat I froze last week. Remember when I made those, um, those Popeyes? And I just used the shell? I wasn't, I was not throwing away the lobster meat, so. So I might as well thaw this out real fast and use this in the dish, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing with this lobster tail. I'm just gonna break them up. This is the Darius Cooks Everyday Knife. This one could also be yours. All you have to do is go to shopdariuscooks.com and use the code cilantro at checkout to save 40% only while we're live. All right, so I'm gonna make pasta, a lobster pasta, no doubt, right? But what I wanna do is, I might as well put the shells to good use. I need to boil the pasta in water. Shouldn't the water be seasoned with the lobster shells? I think so. That way, Nothing sort of goes to waste around here, right? So we're thinking of ways to go, oh, this is interesting. Why don't we do this? Why don't we do that, right? So I'm gonna keep maybe two of the lobsters um, whole like this, with the meat like this, because I'm gonna season and fry. 
But this other piece, I'm gonna take and just dice a little bit because then we'll use this lobster in the sauce. The sauce. The sauce. I think that's a great idea, Darius. You're so smart. I know. He gave me a brain. And I know how to use it. So this lobster we'll just put to the side, okay? And then this lobster, right? This becomes the lobster that we season. And then give buttermilk to, and then do a little deep fry on. This way, we're giving our pasta some dimension and texture. Thank you. Oprah said, I'd have facial that too thing. <laughs> Oprah said, <laughs> hey, <laughs> did this woman say, I'm going to mosey on back now? <laughs> My purse is getting wet. <laughs> oh, I just aspire one day. No, that's you. Does that mean? <laughs> Gail is like, it's the it's the the Dead Sea. You gotta do it at the Dead Sea. You have to. <laughs> Oprah, how's your Dead Sea experience? It's going great. I have a facial at 2 30. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I have a facial at 2 effing 30. I'm not gonna go overboard with my seasoning because you don't really want to overpower the delicate flavor of lobster. So, salt, pepper, a pinch of garlic, and a doodad of Old Bay. That's it. That's all you need to do. All right? You don't gotta do that much. It's lobster. Lobster's great, right? You don't need to do that much on this lobster. All right, let me put a little buttermilk action on here now. Start getting some nooks and some crannies going. We have the best time around here, don't we? We have the best time. We cook, we drink, we eat, we smoke. It's a blast, I know. All right, let's start working on the sauce for um, our pasta. Let's start working on the sauce for our pasta. All right, so I have un onion. I'll probably use this whole one, actually. Now that I think about it, What kind of onion do you use? The kind of onion that's on sale. There he is. The red onions wasn't on sale. An onion, I ain't never had nobody eat something and go, this is Vidalia onion. This is red onion. An onion is on, if it's good, it's good. If it ain't good, then guess what? It just ain't good, man. All right, we do a dice here, a dice there. Here a dice, there a dice. Everywhere a dice, dice. Check the oven, the biscuits go by. Onion. <clears throat> and garlic, yeah? yeah? Are we here for this? I think we are. I certainly am.
right, I'm just slicing a couple of cloves. By couple, I mean five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'll put my garlic to the side because are you gonna do it? Yes. Are you gonna do it? Yes. Are you going to do it? Yes. I'm going to do it. I got some bacon for the making. And that's not Georgia. All right. Let's chop up a couple of slices of good old pork bacon. I don't know who you are. You don't like bacon. Bacon ain't never did nothing to me. Why don't I put this in here first? <laughs> Why don't I put this bacon and the uh, onion in now? Oh, Jesus, there it is. All right. And then let me move my garlic to the side. Actually, not doing too bad. I thought, I thought it, would do, it would be horrible. I'm on 30 milligrams. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm functioning. Okay, we good. 30 milligrams, give me lifty. Lifty. You don't want to put your um, garlic in right now because you know what'll happen. It'll burn. Burnt garlic belongs in the grave. Okay. Now. Let's work on this pasta for a moment. Let me get these uh, shells up out of here. Oh, this ain't what I want to use. What about pasta I want to use? Oh, here you go. I got it. Don't worry, I got it. It's right here. Oh, yeah. I'm using Rich Rigatoni. Rich Rigatoni. Rich Rigatoni. I, I'm still upset that nobody got my idea for my Halloween costume. Oh, yes. <laughs> let me tell you, let me tell you what happened. We're talking about Halloween costumes and I had, I wanted to be a blue box of pasta with a short pixie wig, hoop earrings, red lipstick, and a black leather jacket. Rigatoni Braxton. Let me see you in my arms again. If I have a little, I love you now and then. Please understand. And again. If I have a see you in my arms. What's the one I like? Love should have brought you home. You home last night. You should have been with me. Should have been right by my side, baby. If you can, if you gave up, and love would have brought you to me last night. Oh, baby, why? Why do me think that love's just for a time? Please tell me when. Why should No corporate sponsors are watching this. <laughs> I hope no corporate sponsors are tuned in tonight because if they watch it, they're like, this is a fucking mess. It gets better, I promise. Okay, rigatoni is in my salt, uh, salty 
um, ish water. Okay. Sort of. It's the, um, it's the, uh, <laughs> where did I put it out, y'all? Oh, the lobster tails. That's what I did. These are other lobster tails that I had in the freezer. I'm going to add to this. You know, stuff your grandma doing. Them greens, you eating some of them greens from two years ago. Some of that juice. So all she do is recycle the juice all again. Where it be? In the deep freezer. Everybody, grandma had a deep freezer. We ain't had one. We were so poor. Oh, God. Oh, we were so poor. All right, once your bacon gets sort of juicy and starts releasing the juice, I've got a couple of Campari tomatoes hanging out. Campari tomatoes are tomatoes that are sweeter than regular tomatoes. I don't know who I've become, but I have really gotten into um, tomatoes lately. Like, I don't, I'm not really a tomato fan, like a raw tomato fan, but lately I'm like, hmm, it's sweet, juicy. Focus on the tomato, Darius. Okay. All right, tomato. I'm gonna be growing a bunch of varieties of tomatoes. I'm gonna to get one of those tower gardens. I already ordered it. I can't wait to show you. It has a grow light on it too. Yeah. That's only when you out of um when you out of the uh country. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> Jesus. Garlic and tomatoes in with the bacon and onion, y'all. Mm. Garlic and tomatoes and with the bacon and the onion. I'm just giving my pasta a quick scissor. I'm just giving the pasta a stir. I want the pasta at al dente. What is al dente? To the two, right? You don't want to overcook the pasta. You overcook the pasta now. You put it in the sauce, you overcook it again, right? So you just want it until it's just almost, let me see. I got to bite one. Mm, a little bit more. You want it to the sort of just there. Last thing you want is pasta that's mushy. It's like a sand. I hate it. So this bacon situation, I got a little bit of olive oil. And here's what I say. We already got tomatoes in. Let's bump up tomatoes with sun-dried tomatoes. Huh? So we have julienned sun-dried tomatoes. Now, you can certainly use um, the ones in the jar, the ones in the can. Doesn't matter. The one that come in that oil. If you use the one that comes in the oil, lower the amount of olive oil and put the oil right in. That way you get a beautiful tomato flavor. All right? All right, sun-dried tomatoes are growing in. Okay. White wine, not just for vinegar. White wine in the bottom of this, please. Mm. 
Uh, beautiful. Such beauty happening. All right. What do we have? A little stock. Chicken, beef, combination, seafood, doesn't matter. Right? A little stock. Or you know what I do. You know I'm a water and bouillon kind of dude, right? So I put a little stock in. I'm probably still going to sprinkle me a little piece of bouillon in here. Just because I can't help it. And sometimes, you know, it don't be salty enough. You got to help it out a little bit. You know how it goes. You know how it goes. So I'm going to put about half a bouillon cube in here. All right. And let me get this, um, let me get this pasta out, y'all. Because I don't want to over, I done preached to y'all about overcooking it. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> In front of me. <laughs> you gotta practice what you preach. I've had my share of honey, so many examples. And if ooh, you think you can turn me up, well, then why don't you try how you keep? Ah. Y'all know about this. Y'all too young on that kind of music, boy. Y'all know that humming the humming the humming the stuff. But the classics that get you through something, them songs got you through. Operator. What she said? Baby, you got to be desperate if you call them the operator because you don't know who's going to answer that phone. Huh? You got to be desperate. If you don't call the operator, because when you call the operator, you don't know who's going to answer that phone. And then she said, she didn't even say who, what the man name was. She said, get my baby on the line. Girl, we don't, could you imagine getting that phone call? Mm -mm. Hi, this is operator 27643. How may I help you? Operator. Get my baby on the line. I'm sorry, who's your baby? <laughs> Could you even imagine? It's like, does it? It doesn't even make sense, do it. Cause just the other night, I had a horrible fight. We gotta season this up a little bit. Let's get some stuff going. Dried sweet basil. I also have a little bit of thyme. To that, a pinch smoked paprika. And to that, a little taint of onion powder. And you know what we haven't seen in a while. This isn't it. <laughs> I better have some or something to go warm. I'm gonna go warm. Like I'm about to say. A little bit of dry fennel. A little dry fennel. Hi, fennel. Fennel dinner. All right, I want to taste this real fast just to make sure I have enough salt and whatnot going on. Because uh, the last thing you want this to be is not good. Okay, the last thing you want this to be is not good. Beautiful. Little taint of sugar. 
cut the, cut the bitterness, a little taste. That's all they needed. All right, you're gonna hit it with. Oh, you know what's coming. Heavy, heavy. Heavy cream. Heavy cream is in. You jack the heat way, way, way high. And we grate. Ooh, hey, y'all. This is looking right, baby. I told you. Look, I can boast now. I couldn't do it before. I told you I was the biscuit making king. Oh, I did have some great biscuits though. I went to District Biscuits this past weekend. Shout out to Kansas City. Y'all know how to cook down there, okay? Y'all may not be known for nothing else but one city and two states, but I'm gonna tell you something. Y'all country asses over there in Kansas City, Missouri, y'all know what y'all doing. Everything I ate this weekend was outstanding. Casey, you knocked me out. It was beautiful. I went to a place called District Biscuits in North Kansas City. So good. All right, Parmesan cheese in. And remember that lobster that we just didn't season and didn't do anything with? This lobster? Let's poach the lobster in the sauce, but Let's let the sauce reduce just a touch so we don't overcook the lot. Okay? It's a little trick for you. Okay? No tricky trick. Meanwhile, remember this lobster with um that we seasoned with the old bay and the whatnot and the whatnot? Remember that pasta? I mean that uh, lobster? Well, it's right here. It's made its return. And we're going to hit it with some flour. Hmm. Right. And my oil is hot. So this won't take but literally a second to fry up. Okay. This, fry, this ain't going to take but a second. So do not go answer the phone. Do not be talking about something. R S T L N E. Daily double. Don't do none of that. Okay, that's a fryer from Walmart. All right, that thing worked good. All right, y'all, we, we hitting the home stretch, bruh. We are hitting the home stretch. Huh? Are you having a good time? I know y'all. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, my sauce is good for me to add in my pop, my uh, lobster. So it's it's reduced a little bit. I'm gonna add this lobster in here and let that lobster poach in real good with it. You know. This lobster up. Well, let me take the in. I have an instant read thermometer. Oh no, 
it's, it can go a little warm. Good thing you got an instant read thermometer. Let's, I'm gonna give the pasta just a quick rinse. Or else I'll never be able to get it out of here. And then let me throw the pasta in with the lobster and whatnot. I'm gonna lower the heat to a simmer. Not, let me not do too much. Let me stir. Give me a sec. Oh, yeah. Looking good. All right. My lobster. Let's check internal temp. Looking good. Looking good. Hi. What do we have? Fried. Lobster. Thank you. All right, I'm just checking on my stuff. I'm about to melt my butter. Pasta looking good. Oh, 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 they look good. Y'all don't know how excited I'm about to be. <laughs> you have no idea how excited I'm about to be. Stick of butter. <clears throat> Trisha love honey. Some honey, pinch of salt, in the microwave. We're gonna eat it. You just give me a second. I'm gonna show you my biscuits so you can see how they look. Or at least how they supposed to look. <laughs> no shades of nobody. You know no, it's no shades of nobody who don't know how to make this. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes. Stop while I'm ahead. Yes. Okay. Quit looking at my booty. Oh. What is going? <laughs> it's something back there. Okay, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what y'all be doing wrong. Let me, this the light above, I know what it is, hold on. I don't know what y'all be doing wrong, but But I mean, like, I mean, like, if you gonna do it, you gotta do it like this. Okay, if you gonna do your biscuit, you gotta do your biscuits like that. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, hi. Is is this what I think it is? Is this honey butter? Over the warm biscuit? Wow, oh my God. 
It's really giving God wants a yes. Yes. <laughs> it's really giving God wants a yes. Yes to his will. Yes to his way. When the skies are like way you down, just know that he's I'm not even going to take the first bite. I'm not even going to take the first bite. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get one. You're oh, going to wear I'm going to give me a little piece of this one right here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I told y'all I could make a good biscuit. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Can you see that? This is as good of a biscuit you will get anywhere. This is as good of a biscuit. Huh? How come we can't? The sweet mm. with the cheese and the little bite of scallion. Mm. Yeah. Lit. My lobster rigatoni. My lobster rigatoni with the sun dried tomatoes. with the fried lobster on top.
this is my lobster pasta with the fried lobster on top, you see. Hi, Facebook friends. What's up, Instagram? Hi, Facebook. Hi, TikTok. Hi, YouTube. Hey, hey. Mm, I'm been eating mine. You eat yours, boy. No, you got no camera. I know it's good. You ain't. I'm sold him on that. The crunch of the fried lobster with the poached lobster and the fragrancy of the sauce with that little bite from the sun dried tomatoes. Glorious. Beautiful. The only thing it needs is a pinch of red pepper flakes, and that's it. <laughs> I mean, it's good the way it is, don't get me wrong. But a little heat would be perfect. So, I'm full. I'm done. I did a live stream Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Tomorrow, Jacksonville, we on the way. Make sure y'all go to DariusCooks.tv. Also, make sure you're on the Darius Cooks Plus group on Facebook. All right? Two things I want to tell you, as I always do. Food is my life. Life, it is my food. Until next time, I do want to wish you a happy cooking from my heart to yours. Bye. Bye, y'all. It's, I mean, it's really good. <laughs>